yes, I've got a Bertie's Wheels this week's boxes to go through. So let's kick things off with, I've been talking about them on the channel for ages, but some Target Red Editions. Yes, I did manage to pick myself up a lot <laughs> and it cost a lot too as well as I wanted them pretty sharpish. So yeah, I did overspend on some of these, but I have managed to get rid of a couple on eBay to try and make up some of the cost. So I've got two left in the Red Edition WRX STI Subaru. So taking a little look at this one here, as I say, I managed to get rid of one already, which is pretty good. Just a further two, not too bad on the cards on this one here. Unfortunately, the packaging that this came in was absolutely terrible considering it was coming from the States and some of the cards did get bent and I think possibly even one of the Batista has a uh, like hairline crack on it. So whether that happened in transit or whether that was something that happened whilst it was on the pegs, I don't know, but yeah, there we go. Uh, red 10 spokes kind of like a little mountain scape detailing on the side as well of a stripe. Uh, the little red denunciation for the Target Red Edition, black interior, yada, yada, yada. Right, Pininfarina Batista, yeah, there we go. So that one come. Hairline crack, annoying, very, very annoying. Um, but pretty, very, very pretty colorway in the red. Ooh, as he reaches behind to grab the first couple of colorways. So the yellow, I think actually that would marry off with the yellow, then the blue. That one there, which has only just come in in the recent uh, PKs. So I think that the red edition would have actually been for the yellow first edition. But yeah, there we go. All three of them together on camera. So yeah, as I say, that one there, hairline crack, Look at that detailing down through the back. Very nice, very nice in red. So what have we got? Automobili, I think possibly on the license plate at the back. A little red denunciation. And then beautiful detailing for the light tempos on the front. Very nice, very nice indeed. So one hairline crack card and one decent card right there. Not bad, right, okay. Next up, the all important bits and pieces. Yes, the main reason why I picked it up were that there are some Porsche inside of the Target Red Editions. So yeah, I only really picked up a bundle so that I could try and get these three as for as cheap as possible rather than paying kind of the 10 10 plus pound per whatever it is so yeah not too bad so far so i've managed to sell a couple of bits and pieces which is always good so there we go well the first one's up and again that i believe happened in transit so we've got a bit of a bit of a crease over on the hook on the top which is a bit annoying so that might be an opener not the greatest of cards on the bottom. Yeah, a little bit annoying on that one there. In fact, that's not a great card either. Again, unfortunately, it was the Porsches that got the worst of the battering, so. Yeah, rest of the tempo's all good. Down through the back, in fact, that one's even got a little mark on the back of it as well. That is not a great one either. So I hope that this one is a decent one to at least go into the Cardi collection, which doesn't look too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Again, there is a little bit of damage across the top, which is really annoying, really, really annoying. But that is the best out of a bad bunch, unfortunately, for my 935 Red Editions. Let's pop you up there so you don't get any more battered. Uh, and as I say, one to open, one to keep. That's definitely one to open, it's got the worst hook. Right, those two 
that one's coming to a Porsche opening video near you soon. In fact, let's pop you up there to go with the Porsches. Right, next up. And this one again is out of box, simply because I needed the box to send out some more Hot Wheels to somebody else. Right, inside of here, let's do that. Is another target, and this one here is 356 speedster. So the mailing that the target did, um, I picked up one of these uh, last peg, um, last this week's boxes video, which I think I paid 44. This one 35, so a little bit better on price, and actually came from the same person which is a little bit annoying because I would have bought two in the first instance. But yeah, beautiful card art and very nice to fill in the 356 part of the collection. Um, I've actually got a little bit of a surprise as well in a couple of the next boxes. So hopefully I can guess which one's which the wrong right way around. All right, let's put you up there in with Porsche opening. And let's do, I think that's the second one that came. Right, okay, next up is one little piece here, which I've been keeping my eyes peeled um, to fill in the collection. Um, this one happened to pop up, and I don't think I did too badly on price actually, nowadays. Um, as this one seems to be creeping up in value. So I thought I would get in there whilst I can. Right. Let's see if we can get into this now. Make sure I've got it the right. Yeah, this is the right one. Nicely packaged. Nicely packaged. If you've ever sent this out to me, he's one of my subscribers. Thank you very much. Done a nice job. Old school with the paper. That works. That's fine. Right, okay. Inside of here. There we go. Yes. Porsche 962 with the fleet flyer. So a little bit of a crease across the top there, but hopefully we can, it's not particularly great across there either. Um, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can straighten that little bit out by getting it into a car protector, try and keep hold of it a little bit better. But yeah, this one here is to fill in the collection. So I only have one further Team Transport Porsche um, to get into the Cardi collection. And luckily enough, the next piece I've got to come out is it. So yes, very, very pleased indeed. And let's pop the 962 to one side. And we'll grab out the next one. Right, okay, so let's do this one here. Let's try and get this out of here without slicing open the box. I don't think I need to do that one. It's, oh, actually, yeah. Right, there we go. Last team transport to get carded into the collection. 356 Speedstar, yes, edition number one, the first of the team transports to be released. So, Magnus Walker, little take on this one here. 
some crazy bold stripes across the top there but i am very pleased actually so that will mean that i've got oh yeah there we go three five sixes all taken care of all taken care of one of these will be coming out that i've already got loose so yeah very very pleased that's porsche 356 speedster all taken care of right let's have a little look so number six for your 962 with the Momo Fleet Flyer. Yeah, nice piece. Very, very nice. Very nice. And say so number one with Volkswagen Team Transport. So. Right, didn't do too badly. Um, in terms of price, as I say, this one here was uh, 30, 36 with five postage, 41 quid to get out to me. Not too bad at all. Um, the 356 was the same price. Actually, I think it was a pound less. I think it was 40 pounds posted. So again, these values are creeping up massively. So I am pleased that I've got it all filled in now. No need to be searching eBay for listings to be popping up. So not bad, um, this week's boxes something a little bit different some uh, interesting bits and pieces that i've had sent out to me so yeah not too bad at all until the next one hot wheels fans